Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Note 10. And today I'll show you a couple of tweaks and tricks that I can do on this device. So we're gonna begin with the shortcuts under fingerprint. And uh, before I can actually start this, I'll need to set up a fingerprint. So let me quickly do that. Fingerprints um, here. Let's confirm it and continue. Now this thing won't actually work without the fingerprint. It relies on you actually pressing your finger to unlock the device. So once you have got it, leave here and see if it's enabled right now. Nope, it's not. Okay. So from here you want to go into the settings and then go into screen lock or lock screen right here and then you should find up shortcuts right here switch it to floating buttons and then you can customize it as you like so left and right one by default as you can see they're set to phone and camera but you can change it to any kind of other app that you would like to have so for instance i can set it to set it to something like galaxy store for instance so now we have Galaxy Store and camera. And now if I would like the device and unlock it and keep holding my finger, you can see that there are two icons right now. And all I need to do is just slide my finger over it and let go and it will automatically open that app. So you can add basically some apps that you might be frequently using to have it easily accessible. Now moving on, we're gonna go into the app swipe down for notification panel now normally if you swipe down you get up trade swipe up you get the same thing and to actually get the notification panel you have to go straight from the top to get it but there's actually a way to change it so let's pinch the or not let's hold the screen like so where there is nothing on it so no icons and no widgets and it will give you this little setting bar here and all you need to do is just tap on home screen settings now this this is also accessible normally from the settings app, but this is just a quicker way to get here. And from here, you should scroll down and find, where is it? Swipe down for notification panel. So right here. And now if I quit, previously, as you remember, I swiped basically from here and it opened up tray. Now it opens notification panel. So it's a, Nice way so you don't have to reach all the way to the top to pull the notification panel. And the up drawer is still the same way. If you swipe up, you get the up drawer. Swipe down, you get notification panel. So it just removes the swipe down for up tray and substitute it with the panel. Now moving on, we're gonna go into the apps button and let's go into the settings. And from settings to home, Home screen. Oops, and then not what I want to press. There we go. And we should find apps buttons right here. And what it will do is just add you a up tray button right here or remove it depending if it's checked on or off so you can have it right here and basically access the up drawer with a physical well, not really physical but with a button instead of like a gesture swipe and again to remove it all you need to do is hold go to home screen settings and then flip it here and now it's gone now the last thing that I, or actually not the last, the second last thing that I will show is the home grid. So again, same place, hold it and then the home screen settings. And from here you have the home screen grid and it will allow you to change how many icons can fit on a single page. Now you can see that by default it's set to four by five. 
you can change it to 4x6, 5x5 or 5x6 and once you satisfy you can tap on apply and as you can see the icons shrunk down and I have a little bit more space to add more icons make it a little bit smaller and a little bit more clean looking and keep in mind that app drawer has a completely separate one so you would have to go back again to home screen settings and right here you will have the app screen grid and here you'll have to change it to basically the same thing to have the same kind of size if you want that yeah and moving to the the last thing we're gonna go into the gesture navigations now i left it as the last considering it's kind of hard to swipe when it's on the little stand but easiest way to basically enable it without actually modifying it much you have right here the gesture uh, or navigation bar all you need to do is just tap on it and as you can see the buttons kind of disappeared from there and you can see those like tiny little bars and each bar corresponds to a button that was previously above it and all you need to do instead of tapping on like the area that previously had buttons you swipe from the bottom up on these on these bars so let me actually lift up the device a little bit so i can swipe on it so if i want to bring up recent out swipe here and go back or home this is the example i'm gonna open up here go home recent back and you can also go back where we were so pull down the notification panel and for me it's on the last page and instead of tapping on it you can also hold it and it takes you to the settings of it where you can customize more how you like it so as you can see I mean, there's really only like one customization i would say to switch the bug button with the recent button so if you prefer it to have it on the other side um, you can change it here and now even though it looks like nothing has changed this is now the back button and this will be the recent button so right here let's go back and again you can turn it off here as well if you would like that but in the notification panel you can find a quick and easy button for it to basically toggle it on and off as you can see so yeah, that would basically conclude the list. And uh, if you found any of these tweaks and tricks helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.